Hello friends. This person you see is Dex. He is the most beloved figure on our channel. Dex's girlfriend left him for a muscular guy. That's why Dex wants to build muscles and have a fit body. But he doesn't exactly know what to do for a nice physique. Let's explain to Dex what he needs to do to successfully develop muscles. Before we move on to the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Muscles are special tissues in our body that play a role in body movement. They are divided into three categories, cardiac muscle, smooth muscles, and skeletal muscles. The cardiac muscle is one of the most important muscles in the body, ensuring the pumping function of our heart. Smooth muscles are generally found in our internal organs, such as the stomach, intestines, and blood vessels. However, the muscles we will focus on today are the striated muscles. Striated muscles are located on the surface of our body and, by attaching to the bones, enable us to move voluntarily and move things. There are approximately 650 skeletal muscles in our body, and about 45% of our body weight is composed of striated muscles. Striated muscles work simply like this. Dex wants to lift a dumbbell on the ground. Dex's brain sends signals to his arm muscles. These signals cause the arm muscles to contract and relax. The contraction and relaxation of the muscles allow the bones in the arms to move. This way, Dex can easily lift the dumbbell on the ground. However, if there were weights at both ends of the dumbbell, Dex's arms alone would be insufficient to lift it. In that case, Dex's brain would send signals to other striated muscles in the body for help. Thus, other muscles would assist the arm muscles, the feet would press harder on the ground, and the back muscles would be more tense. This way, Dex's body would be more resilient, and he would be able to lift the dumbbell with added weight. During all these contraction and relaxation processes, significant events occur in the muscles. As a result of these movements, tears and damage can occur in the muscles. You might think Dex is harming himself this way, but it's not a bad thing. Let's take a closer look at the reason. Cytokine molecules that enable the repair of torn and damaged muscles are secreted in muscles that undergo contraction and relaxation. Muscle development also occurs through this repair process. The more damage Dex causes to the muscle tissue, the more repair and recovery the body will need. As a result of all these breakdown and repair processes, larger and stronger muscle tissue is formed. But Dex doesn't experience significant breakdown in his muscles due to his daily activities. That's why Dex needs what we call hypertrophy, exposing his muscles to more than the normal activity. For the development and growth of muscles, he needs to be subjected to a greater pressure than he is used to. This usually requires working out in gyms or doing heavier physical work. Activities such as chopping wood, cutting trees, mountaineering, or swimming, which we do by stepping out of our comfort zone, create more pressure on our muscles than our daily activities, leading to more breakdown. Thus, with more repair and renewal, stronger and larger muscles are formed. So, what if Dex doesn't expose his muscles to any pressure? In that case, he encounters a problem called muscle atrophy, leading to thinning in the muscle and shrinking of cells. Generally, keeping the muscles away from any pressure is difficult. Special conditions are required for that. Muscle atrophy can be observed when there is prolonged immobility due to fractures resulting from an accident as the muscles are not stimulated and become inactive or damage in the nerves that stimulate the muscles can prevent muscle stimulation, leading to muscle atrophy. In this case, we cannot move the muscles and muscle atrophy occurs. On the other hand, during the aging process, muscle atrophy is generally observed along with a decrease in muscle mass. If Dex exposes his muscles to excessive pressure, then an event called eccentric contraction occurs. Eccentric contraction is beneficial to a certain extent. Generally, muscle fibers elongate, and along with the repair process, larger and stronger muscles develop. However, if this pressure becomes excessively high, injuries such as muscle fiber tears may occur. Damage in the joints, or tears in the tendons that form the junctions of bones and muscles, can be observed. In this case, since those muscles cannot be used for months, weakness and shrinkage in the muscles will be observed. The muscles that were worked hard to enlarge will face muscle atrophy. Therefore, we should engage in weight training while being aware of the limits of our bodies. As you progress over time, the upper limit of these limits will increase. 
Of course, for muscle development, we need more than just physical activities. We need proper nutrition for the formation of new muscle tissues. Especially, the nutrients needed during the formation of muscles are amino acids abundant in proteins. Thanks to proteins, we preserve our muscle mass on one hand and provide material for the new muscle tissue to form on the other. In addition to this, naturally secreted insulin and testosterone hormones also play a crucial role in the repair and development of muscle tissue. At the end of the day, as a result of all this hustle and bustle, we are left with only broken muscles. However, the recovery and renewal stages of this process generally occur during nighttime sleep. Sleep is a vital restorative process for the repair, strengthening, and replenishing of energy stores in muscles. This way, it may be possible to achieve healthier and more resilient muscles. Ultimately, this muscle development is somewhat related to genetics. That's why some people may have a faster and more effective process of muscle breakdown and repair than others. In addition, gender and age factors can also have an impact on this repair and development. Therefore, some individuals may need longer periods for muscle development at the same rate. If we provide sufficient breakdown to the striated muscles in our body, along with having a healthy diet containing the necessary protein-rich foods, and if all of these are accompanied by quality and sound sleep, and if we repeat these processes at regular intervals, muscle development will occur as solid and strong as possible. Now that we've learned how muscles work, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to watch the continuation of these and similar videos. See you in the next video.